Before TikTok, YouTube, or even Google, there was a world where computers couldn't talk to each other. Each machine was isolated, a lonely island of information. But in the 1960s, during the Cold War, a small group of scientists began building something that would quietly change the world forever. It all started in 1969 with a U.S. government project called ARPANET, short for the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. Funded by the Department of Defense, its goal wasn't entertainment or social media, it was survival. The U.S. wanted a communication system that could still function even if parts of the network were destroyed in a nuclear attack. Four universities became the first connected nodes, UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles, Stanford Research Institute, UC Santa Barbara, University of Utah. On October 29, 1969, something historic happened. The first message was sent over ARPANET from UCLA to Stanford. The researchers tried to type login, but the system crashed after just two letters. The first word ever sent on the internet was simply low. From those two letters grew a revolution. In the 1970s, engineers Vinton Cerf and Robert Kahn created TCP IP, the language that allows computers to communicate reliably. On January 1st, 1983, ARPANET officially adopted this protocol, a date now known as the birth of the modern internet. Then in 1991, British scientist Tim Berners-Lee introduced the World Wide Web, allowing people to access and share information easily through websites and links. That's when the internet transformed from a military tool into a global public network, the one we use every day. From a simple LO in 1969 to billions of connections today, the internet began as a government experiment and evolved into humanity's greatest tool for knowledge, connection, and creativity. It started with defense and became the world's digital heartbeat. If you like this kind of stories, hit subscribe for more fascinating contents.